This video is going to make me sound crazy. Hey, what's up you guys? It is Tyler, and today I am telling you the story of my astral projection experience. And this is really weird, so... I don't, I don't, that's all. When I was in high school, I made a lot of bad decisions and didn't necessarily do things that I would condone or encourage other people to do. And one of those things was smoking weed. Turn down for weed! <laughs> I was sort of a pretty big stoner, and I wasn't like one of those Instagram stoners, like people didn't know. It was more like self-medication, like I, I wanted to be high all the time so I didn't have to deal with my problems. So that's what I did. So on this one dark and stormy night, I was home alone, and I decided to smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> so I did, and then I went to sleep. And I woke up a little bit later, I was still alone in my house, and it was storming. Everything was normal, just the way it would be. But I heard a loud banging on the door. So I went out into the living room and there was someone outside. The door was kind of see-through, it was glass, but it was like blurry. So I could see the figure of a person and I could tell that they were kicking on the door. So I was like, fuck all of that and pretty scared shitless. And as I was like backing up trying to go back to my room, they kicked the door down. They sort of stormed in all like making a big scene and shit and it was this tall dude that I had never seen before and these big ass boots and I'm like what the fuck is going on here? What the fuck is going on? He's all wet from the rain, it's still storming outside and he sort of comes after me and he's like don't be scared, don't be scared, I just want to talk to you, like can we just talk? And I was just like what the fuck, okay. And basically he sits me down and tells me that this is a dream and I was like whoa what the fuck, cool and he tells me that he, I don't know what he called it, but basically he's a person that can travel between people's dreams. And I was like, oh shit, that's lit. And he's like, I can teach you how to do it. Like, all you have to do is just really focus and all this stuff. And he's telling me all these crazy things. And I'm like, what the shit? Okay, cool. And he's like, all right, well, I have to go now. And when he says that, I like stand up, but not on my own, like not consciously. Like I'm stood up and I feel like I'm being dragged backwards and I can see like, I don't even know how to describe it, but basically I'm pulled by this invisible force back into my room and I look down and I literally see myself sleeping in my bed. And I'm like, holy shit. And I just sort of like go forward down into my body and when that happens, I woke up and I'm like in my house alone and it's storming outside and I'm just like, what the fuck, okay. So, you know, I think that was just like a super stony dream and then maybe a little bit of astral projection in there because that's what that sounds like, right? You kind of travel away from your body in a dream state and that was, that was weird. <laughs> I've had a lot of weird dream experiences. Uh, when I was in middle school, I taught myself to lucid dream and so I have sleep paralysis a lot and I have a lot of weird, weird dreams. Uh, a lot like this one. So if you enjoyed that story, let me know and I will give you guys some more spooky dream stories. And yeah, let me know if you've had any similar experiences. I had never astral projected before this and I haven't since. So it was definitely like a weird experience for me. But if you guys have any information or any insight, you can definitely leave that in a comment below. So that's all I got for you guys. Let's move on to the comment question. Fill in the blank in the comments below. I wish you'd start blank. And my answer is wiping. I wish you'd start wiping. All right, that's all I got for you guys. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.